Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Yudinsky. In our study of history, we travel back to the Reformation and explore a courageous martyr of the Christian faith. In the Protestant Reformation, scores of men and women gave their lives for doctrines of the Christian faith that we may very well take advantage of today, such as justification by faith alone in Christ alone. Now, one of these is the authority and inerrancy of Scripture and the fact that the Bible should be accessible for everyone, not just the clergy and the elites of society. On this belief stood the courageous martyr of the English Reformation, William Tyndale. Now, when we study the Reformation, we often go directly to figures like Martin Luther or Ulrich Zwingli or John Calvin. And these men were titanic figures to be sure, but I find it fascinating that William Tyndale is often overlooked, especially in the English-speaking world. Friends, don't miss this. God used William Tyndale to translate the Bible, the divine word of God, into the English language. You and I can read the Bible today in a language we understand because of the faithfulness of this great man and martyr of the church. Tyndale was born in 1494 in England. As a young man, he became swept up into the surge of the Protestant Reformation, and quickly he found his passion, translating the Bible into the language of his people. He once said this, If God will spare my life ere many years, I will cause the boy that drives a plow to know more scripture than the Pope. Now, remember, at this time, Erasmus had recently finished his Greek New Testament, and Luther had also just translated his German Bible into German. The only problem was this for Tyndale. Tyndale was not allowed to do so because, remember, the Bible was, at this time, still only allowed to be read in Latin by a priest. And in England, it was very controversial at this time. And medieval law actually prevented commoners from reading and understanding the Bible in their own language. But Tyndale stood fast. In his late 20s, he fled England and lived in exile on the mainland of Europe, completing his English translation of the scriptures. Tyndale's translation was shipped back in secret to England, much to the ire of the powers that be, such as King Henry VIII and Sir Thomas More. Tyndale became known as a hero of the Reformation across Europe, but he was horribly betrayed by one of his friends in 1535 while still on the mainland. He was taken captive and burned at the stake as a martyr in 1536. Tradition has it that as he was engulfed in the flames, he prayed a final prayer saying, Lord, open the King of England's eyes. Well, the Lord would hear Tyndale's final plea, as the English Bible was allowed to be read openly and eventually became the standard across the English-speaking world. The Word of God has gone forth eventually to you and me, thanks to men like this giant of the faith, William Tyndale. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a moment in history.